Most teams deploy infrastructure, find out it's insecure, and then scramble to fix it. Or they get surprised by AWS bills at the end of the month, and infrastructure drifts away from your code, and nobody knows why. And traditional tools need access to your AWS account, where security teams do not like that. From my personal experience, that's not something that I really want to dance with. And especially knowing people in compliance and knowing how they work, they don't like giving other companies access to their infra. And honestly, you should hate that too. So that's where Kerner comes in, where we take a different approach and it just reads your infrastructure as code and that's it. If you look at the first card, we have a health score that is ranked zero out of 100. So right now we have problems and this repo is in critical condition if you ask me but that's okay why because it's before deployment our monthly cost the infrastructure will cost us around 172 dollars and 83 cents per month which is not an estimate it's real projected cost from your terraform code and it is fully optimized the next one uh security yeah oof this is this is really bad um 44 security issues, 13 of them are high severity. Uh, yeah, this is, these are just S3 buckets with no access controls. They're missing encryption, public exposure. All of these things are caught on our code analysis though. So this is good that we can catch these things before deployment. Our code drift, we have 18 resources that have drifted from the Terraform state and 96 resources that are being monitored. So your infrastructure, so in this scenario, our infrastructure and our code is just way out of sync. So these are flagging all of the different issues and giving you all the different insights before we even deploy our code into AWS. And down here, this is where it gets interesting. This goes into the time saved. Um, this is in comparison to a human writing it and Kerner writing and managing the code. This is the amount of time it takes the amount of infrastructure as code that's being created and compares it to how fast we could create it in comparison to how fast an average human can create it. And this gives you the estimated time saved, of course. It gives you the estimated cost and the amount of money that you're saving in engineering time saved per month. So this is pretty much giving you the infrastructure intelligence to give you the insights that this pays for itself. And this actually works and does its job better, faster, more efficiently than a human could. Now, of course, it still takes human management. Of course, it still takes human intervention. But in comparison, when it comes to creating, executing, and managing code here, it does that very well. If we scroll down a little bit, it goes deeply into our security analysis. So it tells you all of the different things that are making your score a zero out of 100. So here it's telling us, hey, our RDS instance is not encrypted. So RDS instance main does not have encryption enabled. Okay, so let's say, hey, we have to go enable this. We can click this takes you in line. You can make that change either by manually changing it or actually telling our agent to change it and that'll get fixed. This will disappear and your score will go up. So let's say, okay, our RDS backup retention is too low. So let's click it again, take us in line. We can fix it, disappear, score go up kind of thing. And that's what this tool, that's the power in this tool is it will catch these things like I said, before it gets deployed to AWS. Even if it is deployed to AWS, and let's say you wanna put the repository or add the repository to Kerna, you can add the repository. This will begin to run the analytics on that repository that was manually input into Kerna and give you these analysis and insights anyways. So we go over to our cost optimization. This is just an optimized cost to find things that can make your code more cost efficient. As you can see here, this is fully optimized. And this is just telling you how we go into detecting drift and ensuring compliance with your code. 
So I was doing Git based comparisons, semantic resource matching, real time validation with Terraform format, Terraform validate, and also has zero false positives because it tracks your drift detection. It shows you all your drifts. You want to come in and change something. Like I said, you can come in here, actually click in line, make the change, whether it's through our agent by telling our AI to do it or manually doing it yourself and creating a, P a PR with the shortcut command shift P or if you're on Windows, control shift P. Um, that's pretty much a short summary of what our infrastructure insights here is here to do. Um, thank you for watching. And in our next video, we will go in more detail about our infrastructure analysis screen instead of our infrastructure insight screen.